Hey everyone, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. And what are we talking about this time? Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. It's coming out here soon, and they made a, biz a bizarre decision to place New Game Plus behind a paywall? Do what? Before we get into this episode, this episode is brought to you by Chunky Soup. If it ain't chunky, it ain't soup. All right. So basically, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, it's coming out here soon. It's the sequel to Like a Dragon. Um, now, this game is uh, on its own. The base version is a $70 game. So it's following the $70 uh, price point like we, we like we usually see nowadays for most games. but Sega's upcoming Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is locking its new game plus mode behind its deluxe and ultimate editions, which costs an extra $15 for the deluxe version or an extra $40 for the ultimate version on top of that 70 bucks that you're paying for the game. Uh, this is, of course, you know, I think uh, like a dragon and, and most RPGs nowadays have new game plus, which is already in there, right? You beat the game. It's got a new play game plus mode, which allows you to continue, uh, you know, play the game over again, but continue your progression and things you've unlocked in the game. So new game plus is being folded into the master vacation bundle, which isn't included in the game's base version. According to the game's official website, the bundle also includes a bonus dungeon special uh, Sigimon, which is like a Pokemon like mode resort guests outfits and more. Uh, the frustrating thing, and I even looked at it on steam is on steam. It doesn't say what each edition has. So if you're going on steam and, and buying, uh, buying it, then, you know, I mean, it it doesn't, yeah. I mean, it kind of does specify which each edition has. If you kind of look down in the in the extra the extra uh, portion of the Steam page, but looking at the Steam page, it doesn't say anything about. From what I can tell, it doesn't say anything about um, what exactly is included in the things that you get. Right? It says that you get these extra things, and they they just say like master vacation bundle and outfit bundle and stuff like that, but they don't specify those things as far as what those things are in particular that are included in that bundle. And looking at the steam page, they don't even say that new game plus is in there, but looking at an ex excerpt from uh, a, a picture from Sega's site, official site, it does show that they have the standard edition, the deluxe edition and the ultimate edition. And you can, and basically on the deluxe edition and the uh, ultimate edition, uh, one of the uh, things that you get is the master vacation bundle, which they say you get to explore a bonus dungeon. So you pay more money, you get an extra dungeon. Uh, you get the special uh, Pokemon thing, like I said, but the biggest thing is your new game plus is locked behind that $15 paywall, right? So you're basically, if you want the, the full experience outfits and stuff is one thing, right? Cosmetics, things like that. That's one thing. Um, but to take a mode and even a dungeon in this case and put it behind a $15 paywall. I mean, we're getting to the point where we're going to be a la carte in our games, right? You, you want to get past stage five. That's another $15. You want that extra character, you know, that you saw in the trailer and they're in the game and they are playable, but you got to spend, you know, 10 bucks here. Or, uh, you know, they, they start out with the, the, the crappiest gun, but if you want a better gun, you know, I mean, this is like getting back to when EA, uh, we talked about this guy, I think back in EA or in the dice one where he talked about paying for bullets. Right. I mean, this is like it's getting to that point where you're going to be a la carte in your games, where you're going to have to be paying piece by piece. Uh, and so these types of things are pretty bad to to put something like new game plus behind a paywall we've seen them do dungeons we've seen them do other things outfits and things like that uh behind paywalls like upgrades and stuff like that but in and a, a whole new uh feature that's always been included in these games to put that behind the paywall is pretty it's pretty bad for sega to do especially since sega is not always on the greatest uh 
footing with the gaming community uh, from time to time. So basically, you know, in the article, they say that there could be a chance that this may be, you know, maybe the new game plus in those modes in those uh, deluxe and ultimate editions may not be what they say they are. It says new game plus, but maybe that's like something additional onto the new game plus like new game plus is there, but it's, it's something extra with it that you get for this. Um, one redditor, however, noticed this this situation about a month back and got in touch with uh, uh, and got in touch. Uh, said that one of the reps said that uh, it is legit. Um, so, I mean, we won't know until the game comes out, which comes out fairly soon. But um, from what it shows on those particular editions like it doesn't specify like new game plus something it just specifies new game plus so it seems to me like new game plus is stuck behind a paywall behind those higher edition versions and it's not just new game plus but we're seeing this with a lot of things right like early access we've talked about this before uh being able to play the game early you know the new prince of persia game that just came out has that same thing right if you would have bought the deluxe edition now again that game was cheaper it was i think it's 50 dollars for the standard edition 60 for the uh deluxe edition but it gives you three days early access and stuff like that so developers are looking at different ways to entice you to buy those more expensive versions you know we complain about how our games are going up to 70 dollars, but really our games have gone up to 80 90 100 dollars if you think about it, if you want the full experience of what the game is supposed to offer you, you have to pay the premium. And uh, that's pretty bad. So well, let's go around and see what everybody thinks. Um, I don't know who wants to talk first. Let's just go to Shane down there. He's at the bottom of my screen and uh, he's going to talk first. Shane, what do you think, buddy? Uh, yeah. So you know how to piss me off right at the very beginning, because this is a load of garbage. Uh, Pat, I'll try to keep my expletive deletes to a minimum so you don't have to worry about bleeping me out later. Um, so the game is titled Infinite Wealth, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. And Sega apparently feels that's what gamers have. So screw you and the hedgehog you wrote in on. Um, this is a load of crap. I mean, this this is the kind of stuff that just, it just makes no goddamn sense. Uh, I mean, financially, it makes sense if you want to rip people off and make more money. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the Like a Dragon series has become more and more popular over the years. Uh, and, you know, that's the way I feel. Because I didn't hear, I never really heard too much about them. And then, you know, we started playing their games four or five years ago. And, the, and we've loved them. I mean, we've really not played one that we've not really liked. I mean, we had uh, some disagreements with uh, some choices they've made, but overall, we've enjoyed the games to a point. Uh, some of them we really loved. This one, uh, this one can burn in a fiery pit of bell hairs. This is disgusting. This is the absolute problem with our gaming industry on this whole milking thing they want to do with the gamers. I mean, Nick, you're right. A game isn't. $50. It's not $70. It's, it's a hundred, $120 to play games anymore. Uh, no game should be in, and you know, Pat, you, you may even agree with me, but there should be some sort of uh, regulations for this kind of garbage because they're, they're, they're charging you to buy a game and then they're charging you more to pay the, to play the content that's already in the game. So you're buying a key to finish playing the game you've already paid for. And that's, that's, that's garbage. I like, I like games. I love games. There's not that many games that have a DLC that I would pay for. And now they're going to charge me to have the whole game in my, in my download, not just, you know, the, a portion I don't know. It's it's hard now. I'm trying not to get mad and cuss. I really am. Um, uh, I mean, developers have really, really gone off the deep end. I mean, they don't, 
they don't seem to think about who they're selling to. I mean, gamers typically aren't the richest people. Why? Because we buy video games. So it's not like we have a whole lot of ex dis you know dis disposable income for, you know, garbage. And what they're trying to sell us here is garbage. It's new, it's NG plus, new garbage plus. And I will not partake in it. Uh period. Um and honestly, Sega, I've never really hated until now. I hate Sega now. Thanks, Sega. You're on my list, Sega. You're on my list. Pat, before I start using those profanities, I'm going to throw it over to you. Damn it. Yeah. Unfortunately, RGG and Sega has a lot of goodwill built up with gamers, right? They've been doing a lot of good stuff and good things, and then they turn around and do this. And from what I was reading, I think from what I saw with the last uh, Like a Dragon game in Japan, they locked New Game Plus behind a DLC. But in North America, we didn't have that. And now it just seems like turnabout's fair play and everybody's going to get it locked. The bad thing is, is they lock things, they lock features and gameplay behind New Game Plus that you will not have access to unless you pay the $15. Just like Nick said, it's piecemealing the game. I've always felt that the DLC um, is a piecemealing of the game, especially when you release content, content day one. Because they're releasing the dungeon day one, right? That's what you're getting with it. So in my opinion, you have just peeled a piece of your game away that's not a cosmetic or uh, you know type thing, but a whole dungeon outside of your game um, from, a, from a, your built product. And not to mention a feature and function of the game, New Game Plus. Those are not like cosmetic items or non-consequential items in the game. Like, I, you know, pre-ordering a game and ordering Digital Deluxe to get an armor set and some rings that are kind of worthless once you level up past level 10 or whatever. whoop de doo whatever, I don't care. But to be able to say that I can't get a, something I would consider key to the game because I didn't want to pay the 15 extra dollars or the whatever they decide to charge is bullshit. It's utter bullshit. And... I honestly I use dirty words. <laughs> I honestly wish we weren't reviewing this game with this information because of that and wish to just say, I'm not paying, I'm not spending any money on it. But since we're reviewing it, I have to buy it. And that kind of pisses me off. I will not buy the deluxe edition though. Then kiss my ass, you know? Uh, and Sega had just basically lost a lot of points. You know, they were like, they were like 95% favorable. And now they're like down to 45% favorable because of this, douchebag move you know um they should there should be something i don't know what it should be i think legislation's a little bit rough because once you allow government to dictate something and it becomes a a rigmarole and a problem but enough gamers aren't going to aren't going to sit this one out because it's like a dragon games they're fun everybody wants to play them and it's a highly anticipated game so people aren't going to sit this one out. That's the only way to teach Sega and RGG Studios a lesson. But people aren't. They're going to pay for it, and they're going to pay. F they're going to pay the fifteen dollars or the forty dollars because the forty dollars gets you some outfits and, like Nick said, the legendary Sujimon and some resort guests and special boosts. I don't know what all those are, and then increase your karaoke stuff with new karaoke tracks. You know, for the ultimate edition. Used to be back in the day, a deluxe and an ultimate edition came with extra stuff in the physical box. And now it's just like, well, digital this and digital that and digital everything else. You get nothing extra. I, I remember when $60 game and you can get a $100 collector's edition, it came with a bunch of stuff like figurines, statues, books and everything like that. Now you're going to spend $110 on a bunch of digital crap that is locked into the game. So this is a, a very disgusting move by Sega and RGG that I hope gets enough attention and they reverse it because I think the dungeon and the new game plus being locked behind DLC or $15 extra just after less than a year from everybody raising the price of games, $10 is sickening. Um, unlike Sega and RGG, we don't have infinite wealth to spend on some garbage and trash like this. 
you know, as much as I hate to say this, I hope the game sucks ass and just gets reviewed like garbage. And I'm like, everybody paid for it, but it's, you know, it's a badly reviewed game. They come out with like a dragon suck ass nine or whatever, and nobody buys it. That's what I hope happens to them. Teach them a lesson. It takes them 20 plus years to build back up their uh, trust the gamers had in them. Because right now they basically have killed the last, what, 20, 30 years worth of trust that they built in gamers by doing this cash grab move. So the DLC stuff is just getting out of hand. And this is just another thing of it. Releasing, I can't say it enough, releasing DLC at launch is not DLC. It's you stripping out parts of an already completed game so you can rake, rake your fans over the coals even more. Uh, yeah, it, it, it pisses me off too. Um, and they won't learn their lesson unless unless they start losing money. And unfortunately, because of the popularity of this game, they won't lose money on it. They may lose some people, but they're not going to lose enough to make their wallet hurt. I don't know, Nate. What do you think, man? This We got to stop this from becoming the norm in games. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. We got to stop this from becoming the norm. I mean, it, it almost already has, you know, and... And, but the problem is, it's just getting worse, right? And it's going to continue to get worse as gamers continue to let it slide by, right? If developers can get away and publishers can get away with it, they'll make it more egregious until they can't get away with it, right? They'll piecemeal and break it down as much as they possibly can until people will go, I think that's a little too far. I mean, it's already there, but to get the masses to be like, Hey, I think you've gone too far. Uh, who, how long is that going to take? I don't know. And yeah, I, I agree with you, Pat. Like I, I hate when a DLC is like, I don't mind if it, if it's like, if you want to buy the deluxe edition or whatever. Right. And it's like a few extra skins, like, okay, cool. If you want to spend the extra money to buy a couple of extra skins, it is what it is. Right. It's not adding to the game. It's just some skins who gives a crap. Um, but taking pieces of the actual game, not skin wise, but like in this case, dungeons, a new feature, um, you know, the outfits, whatever the karaoke tracks, it's whatever, if you want that stuff. But, you know, it is one thing to say, like all this stuff more than likely, like probably 99% likely was already created in the game. Right. They had all this stuff. Then they said, "Okay, what do we want to take out and put it behind a higher paywall? Right. And it's I don't mind, especially if like a a game wants to do a deluxe edition where they say, "Okay, you you buy the game and uh, or you can buy like the the game for 60 bucks or you can spend like 70 bucks or 80 bucks or whatever uh, for the expansion pass. I mean, like we have DLC that we have that we'll be working on after the game that we'll be releasing like a year or two later. And if you buy this version, you, you get that DLC when it comes out. Right. And it's like, okay, cool. Like if you're planning on buying the DLC for it and that's an actual DLC, right? It's going to take a year or two before it comes out. Like uh, example, Alan Wake, right? That's what their deluxe edition was. It came with a couple of skins, but it came with expansion. There's two expansions they have planned. One comes out, I think towards the end of this year. And then the next one's like sometime next year. Right. So, you know, they weren't working on it right then and there. Uh, They might have been working on it already, but they, you know, it's not coming out just right after the game releases. They are planning on it releasing towards the end of the year when they finish it. And then the next one later on, kind of like, I mean, Destiny kind of did the same thing at the very beginning. Right. (laughs) When they had like, uh, uh, what was it? Destiny one where you could buy the two expansions right off the bat. Right. Even though those expansions sucked, but it was the expansion after that that you had to buy on its own. That was actually good. But, uh, you know, some companies do a good job with their expansion stuff and some don't. But if you want to do that, if you have planned expansions uh, later on down the line, then that's fine. If you Because you're going to charge people for those expansions anyway. And if people want to buy it as part of a bundle, then go for it. Right. But if you're going to take things out of the game and put them behind a paywall, like I hate that stuff. I hate it also when like... Uh, what was it? Call of duty or whatever. It had that exclusivity deal with PlayStation and they had like um, those extra maps or an extra mission or two or something like that. That was only on PlayStation. Like I hate that crap. And it's not just 
you know, it's not saying, oh, I'm Xbox fanboy or whatever. That's just saying, like, you know, make it to where everyone has the same experience. Don't don't strip one out of the other over, uh, you know, a, a, a bag full of money. Um, in the same way with this, right? You're you're taking parts of your game out of there and uh, putting it behind a paywall. And I agree with Pat that, you know, consumers really need to, and they need to, to do it now more than later, right? Because it is just going to get worse. Stuff like this is developers and publishers testing the waters. If they can get away with it and it does good, then it'll just get more egregious as time continues on. So. But well, the I, I've said this a thousand times and not everybody agrees with me and I, I don't care, but I think our biggest problem, not just in the gaming industry, but in, in life is people who don't do nothing, but they still make money off everything. The investors, uh, I think pe- the investors are our biggest problem. I think they have too much say in places. Uh, you put your money into a company because you believe in them. You shouldn't be able to you know, dictate force certain aspects now granted if i'm investing my money i I do want to feel that uh i do have some control but the control i should have is being able to take my money right back out they don't they're doing things they don't like i could take it out uh i i think uh we're trying too hard to appease people that don't do a damn thing um that have too much say and power in places they should um you know like i said i i've said this a thousand times and it's it's one of those things that you know uh, that's never going to change because money is the root of all evil and unfortunately that root is destroying our beloved gaming uh plain and simple i mean we're losing digital we're losing physical content we're losing uh control on prices now there's still some companies out there that put quality games out for for manageable price and we need more of those uh you know baldur's gate uh three was was the like the perfect algorithm of cash for enjoyment (laughs) i mean for what you paid there was so much content there was so much fun and quality and memories built into that that price that's what uh, gaming companies gaming developers should be focused on they should be focused on those ranges not just the big financial ones because if you make a great game i'm coming back to your next game plain and simple this is not the way to do it um pat we may have to rethink reviewing this game (laughs) i'll be honest i'm so pissed off about it i mean honestly i'm at that point where i would prefer not to buy it (laughs) because of this i mean you know i I, it really irritates me that that's in there. Mm-hmm. Now, I would not. I'm not a new game plus player, so that really. I mean, I'm mad because of True. that. Same but, here. But I'm mad because of the the content that they actually are releasing and calling it. You know, putting it in like a dungeon. Like you should never remove something like that from a game and put it in there. But it's a scummy move, and and unfortunately, everybody's gonna buy the game. You know, and from I when I was doing some digging, I guess this was known back in September of last year that that the information popped up then. And I guess it's just gained a lot more traction now because when I was actually Googling and looking for art, looking at the articles and stuff, I saw some articles from back in September uh, of 2023 where this was known and it was listed on their um, like their little one page brochure thing about the different mo- DLCs and stuff and or different uh versions of the game digital standard digital deluxe and ultimate so i mean i guess it was known then it just hasn't caused a big enough stink until now and now it's being picked up by all the all the popular like Kotaku and 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 all those guys and and ign and all that stuff but it's it's just a dirty 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 move um and it really irritates the crap out of me but <laughs> Uh, it, it's just a popular and highly anticipated game. I think it was even nominated as like most anticipated game of 2024 so far. Um, so, I mean, I I loved the Yakuza Like a Dragon game. 
that game was freaking awesome. I put so much time into that and beat it and then kept playing the the business game. You know, you go in and you do the whole making money by, you know, that. And I was like, that's fun, you know? And then the whole RPG element to that game was just set it apart from most of the other things, most other games out there. Um, and so I was like, wow, this is like a, I like the Yakuza series, but then that game was like, I love this game out of the Yakuza series. It was one of my top highly rated games of the year when it came out. But now, I don't know. I'm a little torn on this one, you know, because uh, we, you know, we'll lose out on viewers because of a re- of, we don't do the review. And then, and I'll miss out on the game, but it's part of me goes, well, I just want to wait for it to go on sale and get it when it's like 30 bucks, <laughs> you know, if I want to play it, but I don't know. It's a rock and, this, and a hard place. This is exactly where the vote with your wallet, you protest with your wallet, speak from your wallet, whole vibe and mantra comes from these are those situations. So, uh, the the problem with that is it's not really that guy behind a desk coding or designing levels and all that. It's the scumbags that uh, make these choices and somehow have become the leaders. Uh, you know, they're the ones that are just, you know, destroying the gaming industry. They're the ones that should be punished. Not, not the guys who are passionate about what they do. So, but yeah, this is going to be a hard one to to choke here. So, if we do review, it's going to be hard to separate the feeling of of being done dirty by Sega and RGG, yeah. and not have that taint the review a little bit too. Well, you don't see too many victims praise their <laughs> praise their captors. So, and that's what I feel like. Uh, that's what you know, they're doing. We'll get. I was Stockholm trying not syndrome. to be offensive. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get Stockholm syndrome, right? Because it'll be a great game, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, but Who's your daddy Sega. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, you know, it, that's how I kind of feel. It's like I I know this game is going to be great because everything I've seen it just looks awesome. It reminds me of the Like a Dragon, the Kuz Like a Dragon that came out, mm-hmm. and they've even brought the protagonist back, and and I'm just like. I really want to enjoy this game, but in the back of my mind, I'm going to be like, you spent $70 and you're missing content. You spent $70 and you're missing content. And it's just going to nag at me. And then it's going to take my perception of the game because I will absolutely not buy the $15 deluxe or the $40 ultimate. I I'm that's absolutely out of the question. No, no. And Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe all the almost all of the other dragon games, like a dragon games, are on Game Pass. I, and I don't think this one is coming to Game Pass because I know Sony had a, a big. I got a sale. You is can not. buy this one. Yeah, so, this one is yeah, not. I believe the other Pass. ones are though. So uh, I don't think so the first wanna... one was, but uh, the last one was on Game Pass. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. But if you guys want to play like a dragon, go play the ones on Game Pass. Don't don't buy this one, in my opinion. Just even if it's fan frickin tastic, you know, and they give me my five bucks back. Screw them. Screw them all. And you're going to be the biggest hypocrite around be. because we're going to play it for the review and you tell everybody mm-hmm. not to buy it. It's hypocritical and it feels yeah, dirty even being that way. But it's like at the it, same time, Sega's being dirty. Yeah. I need a shower after this conversation. I feel like I've just been used. <laughs> I'm dirty. Change me. <laughs> yep. No, nope. uh, Sega can suck dirty butts in hell. So. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's a, even from Sega and RGG, it's a bigger overall problem, right? It's not just them, it's other developers and other publishers out there that do this type of egregious stuff as well. And, and the more that other developers such as Sega or publishers such as Sega get away with stuff like this, right? If this game does well, which I'm sure it will, 
And if the sales on the deluxe and ultimate editions do well for Sega, other de- uh, publishers and developers will look at that and say, look, they can put their dungeons and new game plus and things behind a paywall. Why can't we? Right. And then you'll see that more and more often. Um, you know, there's always somebody out there that's the first to test the waters to tempt fate, you know, and if it works out for them, then others will follow suit. Uh, so, yeah, that's I mean where you have to follow your wallet or follow your wallet, follow your nose, um, pay with your wallet, you know, and you have to pay with your wallet. Man, all right, we are done with this conversation. You do have to pay with your wallet or at least what's inside. Um, <laughs> but don't vote do meth, with kids. your wallet. <laughs> vote with your wallet. Yeah, don't do drugs before a podcast. No, I'm just joking. Um, do them. So you're saying do do them before the podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ultimately, what I'm saying in. is <laughs> drugs are bad. Okay. <laughs> drugs are bad. That's what I'm trying to say. This whole thing is about drugs and drugs are bad. Okay. That's the plan. So, I mean, ultimately, though, getting back on topic. Yeah. I mean, vote with your wallet. This is. Uh, but you know it's not going to happen people are are going to buy it anyway i mean even us if we, we still review it we're we're going to be a part of the problem not part of the solution and this will continue to get out of control <laughs> so just like drugs anyway anything else got any, anything else they want to say no i'm going to go do a line of bacon so to hurry up <laughs> follow it up with a swig of vinegar all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to infinite wealth? And is uh, well, we all are. are we <laughs> like a dragon. Infinite wealth. Are you looking forward to that? And are you looking forward to the game after we just talked about uh, them putting new game plus and a dungeon and various other things behind a paywall? Right. We're kind of used to this stuff being behind paywalls, but like I said, now they're putting content. Like skins are one thing, but now they're putting actual like levels and uh modes behind paywalls right and so you know what's what's your feelings on that let us know down in the comments below other than that thanks for watching everybody make sure to like the video uh make sure to subscribe if you're not already help us out do us a favor hit that subscribe button hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with new videos that we do all the time and we'll see you next time see ya 